you hockey fans have been waiting. Let's go to our call with Al Arbor. And Al, you've got to be one of the happiest guys on Long Island today, but knowing you, it was practice as usual this morning at around 12, wasn't it? Well, I was very happy about the uh, the game last night, and uh, but we had a, a full practice today at 12 o'clock, and uh, you know, uh, considering that we played Saturday and Sunday, we had quite a good workout today. Al, you have measured spirits and measured these factors because they're important to a team. Sometimes teams get up too early, too soon, or whatever. Right now, how do you feel about your club's attitude compared to maybe any time in the, in the last four years? Well, I think the attitude and uh, I think the attitude is just super at the present time. You know, we haven't been playing that great for the last period of time, but the, you know, fortunately, we're still winning. But our club came out last night with just one of the great games. Uh, we were just uh, super in the corners and the front of the net. It was a grinding type of game, and uh, we came out on top. And I think it had to do a lot uh, for the confidence of the players. And, uh, you know, they realize what they have to do in a big game, and they come through, so they have to be very, very happy about themselves. Al, is that one of the major differences, uh, as you see it from a coach's standpoint? We in the media go into the locker room, of course, after the game and talk to guys how they feel about a particular game and so forth. But you see it before the game, and you, of course, see it after the game. What I'm driving at is, does this team have a different feeling going into big games than it had last year going into a Flyer game or two years ago or going into a game with the Bruins or even Montreal? Well, there's, there's a, a, you know, a very, very big difference. I mean, we go into the big games now this year, and the, the players are very, very confident that uh, they're going to play well and that, that they're going to win. You know, it doesn't always happen that way, but they're very confident. Before, in the big games where it meant uh, an awful lot to the team and to the players individually and collectively, they used to go in there and they would doubt themselves. Uh, you know, hopefully we're not going to embarrass ourselves and, uh, you know, hopefully we're going to do this. But now they go in there, we're going to do this, and we're going to win the game. And uh, they're very, very confident. They believe in themselves. And, you know, that's, uh, that's a big part of the game, and that's the way they're playing. In case you're just tuning in, we're talking to Al Arbor. And, uh, Al, I guess uh, a couple of the fans earlier had asked, uh, do you plan to, to stick with the Bourne, Harris, and, and Merritt for the time being, uh, as far as that line is concerned? Well, well it's really hard to say, Larry. I've been, I've been doing a lot of driving the last <laughs> while and changing cars around. That, you know, just, do you forget sometimes who's on what line? Well, in practice, we practice players in all different positions. Like today, I had, uh, you know, nice and playing left wing, Howard playing center, Harris playing left wing, and Gilly's playing center ice. And uh, so that they have to, you know, they ha they know what position a certain player has to play, what his responsibilities are, and they get to know all the positions. And uh, you take Billy Harris now. We play two games over the week, and he's played right wing, center right, and left wing. Right. <laughs> and uh, he's played very well. And Drew Wayne's played right wing and center right, and he's played very well. So I think that, you know, it's a big asset to our hockey club. But, you know, to say that I'm going to leave a line together, I would like to leave them together. But, uh, you know, if I feel that during the course of the game that I have to make changes uh, to help the team, I will. Now, what do you look for in tonight's game, Buffalo-Montreal? I know that you're going to be watching that game, and we all know Montreal has been unbeaten in 26 games, and you're going to be playing Montreal on Sunday. What do you do when you watch a game like that tonight on television? What do you look for? What are the little signs that you look for? In scouting or whatever? Well, I make, uh, you know, I make notes of what they do in their zone, coming out, uh, what they do in the center zone, what they do offensively in the offensive zone, and... Uh, uh, you know, I, I look for little different systems that they have and something that we can counteract them with. And uh, we make notes down, and uh, hopefully we can come up with something that we can beat Montreal. And I feel very confident that uh, you know, we, we're going to face Montreal uh, you know, next Sunday. And I feel that the way the our club is playing right now, that uh, we can beat them. I don't care who we play. I mean, the players believe in themselves, and uh, that is the, you know, the number one factor. There's no doubt that the confidence is there. Uh, we see it in the locker room, as I said, afterwards, and you see it in the practice, uh, and it's a subtle thing sometimes. It isn't just rah-rah, but uh, you can sense it. 
What about, uh, as you talk about Montreal and the streak that they're going through, would it help, or uh, if they go into that game on Sunday still unbeaten, would that put more pressure on them? Would you like to see that happen, or it doesn't matter to you? No, I don't think that really matters. I think it's uh, just the fact that we're facing Montreal. You know, Barry, you think about it now, Montreal has come 25 games undefeated, and you figure out how many, how many points are ahead of us. Not that many. Not that many when they've done 25 games undefeated. That's right. So, you know, the fact that it may be, if we could be the murderer in the season, uh, there might be a three-point spread. So, uh, you know, I just indicate the way our team has been playing all year, too. And I'm very proud of them. And, uh, you know, they realize what they have to do the remainder of the season. And, uh, you know, it's our last game of Montreal this year, and we have to assert our authority. I was just going to get into that because in looking at the games outside of the wild one in Montreal the last time out, I guess that 7-5 game, uh, all the other games uh, were generally uh, of a similar nature in which Islanders outplayed Montreal for a good part of the game and then boom, Montreal would explode for two or three quick goals and break it open. And uh, when you looked over the game outside of that one period, Islanders had generally had a good account of themselves. Do you worry about that happening to you, uh, this week? And not in the sense beforehand, but to, the players must be aware of this. This is how they've lost before. Well, we're aware of what Montreal can do, you know. They're the type of club that can burn you in two minutes. Right. And get two or three goals in a two-minute span. And, uh, you look back at our playoffs the last couple of years, where overall, in, the, in all the games we've played, we've probably had the edge in the games. But, uh, you know, we're on the short end of the... Of the the goals for and goals against. And uh, we know what we have to do. We just can't have a breakdown for 30 seconds because they're going to burn us. I was just looking at uh, something that came over the wire today. Ray John Houle has been named Player of the Week in the NHL. All he did was score six goals this week, and here's a guy that doesn't play very much too often. <laughs> well, you know, he's, he's been a pretty good hockey player for a number of years, and uh, you know, the fact that he defected to the WHA for a while and came back and... Uh, but, you know, Montreal, you look at all the players, there's a lot of players that can do that. And uh, that's why they're, uh, they're such a great hockey team. they got Hull, you know, they got LaRouche that can go there and burn you when, uh, you know, when, it, when he has to. And they got uh, Lafleur, of course, who's one of the greatest in the game. And Shep, Lamar, and Corden mm -hmm. So they have so many players that the thing is, that if we can contain them, well, we can play our game, you know, one shift at a time and stop them and not have any lapses for any period of time, I feel very, very confident that we can beat them. And I think you probably, uh, of course, would, would talk for the team in that same feeling, and we'll be getting a chance to, to hopefully talk to them later in the week in person. Al, uh, you have to be pleased with the way Merrick came back from his injury in Bossy. Physically, how were they today after two uh, rugged games Saturday and Sunday? Well, you know, they, they missed a few games, and, uh, you know, practicing and playing the games are uh, a little bit different. I thought that both of them handled themselves very, very well. Uh, you know, we had a very physical game last night, and, uh, you know, there's no doubt about it that Wayne was tired and Bossy was tired, but uh, uh, I was very happy that they showed a lot of spikes this morning in practice. You know, they uh, realized that, uh, you know, the missing a few games and uh, practice time and that, but uh, they were a little worried, concerned about them, their physical condition. But uh, we were very happy about the outcome of the whole thing, and, uh, you know, I think it gave them a little spike today in practice. Well, they, they too, uh, those two, along with uh, Pearson and uh, some of the others, have really added to, to the 1977-78 team, and uh, we certainly want to wish you the best of luck, and uh, uh, hopefully you come away with a victory in Montreal next week. Very good, Barry. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Right. Al Arbor, good man, the coach of the New York Islanders, and certainly the kind of guy who uh, has to feel very good about his team's effort, as he is the one coach of a New York pro team that is uh, really happy about the way things have been going.